Hello guys, in this video we are going to understand the concept of SSH to connect two systems. So now let us suppose that there is one machine and you want to access that machine's content or some files from that machine through another machine. So let's suppose that you are working in an organization and the machine, machine 1, which you normally access is on the ninth floor. And today you are unable to go to that ninth floor to access the machine. Let's suppose that the lift is not working. So you have a access to machine 2, which is on the first floor. Now these two machines are connected through a network. So they are connected to the same network. Now you can connect or you can access the machine 1 via machine 2 using SSH. The only thing that you will be requiring is the IP address of the machine. That's it. Now, whatever communication happens between these two machines is encrypted. So, whatever message you are going to send will be encrypted so that it is secure during its transfer and at the other end, it will be decrypted back to the original message. So, this is the crux of using SSH. So what we are going to do here is we are going to connect two different machines. One will act as the server machine. So mean the machine that I want to access from the client machine. So I want to access the data of the server from the client machine and I am going to connect them using SSH. The IP address for the server is 192.168.43.237. And that of my client is 192.168.43.22. Now let us see how this will work. Now I'm going to connect two of my systems. So you can see that this system name is root underscore server. Whereas the second system name is root underscore Baljeet. Okay. So if I show you the contents of root underscore Baljeet, so you can see that these are the contents. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to access the contents of root underscore Baljeet from root underscore server machine. Just to be clear, I am going to show you the now contents of the root underscore server machine. Okay, so you can compare that the contents are different. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the open SSH server. So, you will write yum install open SSH server. This might be running in your system already. Okay, how to check? So this is the command that you need to run yum install open SSH server on both the machines that you want to connect. Okay. So once you have installed this, you or you can just check whether it is already installed or not. So system CTL status SSHT. So it is running in both the systems. Okay. So if it is active running, this means nothing is required to be done for the installation part. All right. Now I need to know what is the IP address of the target machine with which I want to connect. So I want to connect with the machine root underscore Baljeet, right? So if I check the IP address, you can write IP address show. Although it is showing a lot of interfaces, the one that I'm interested is the second one ENP0S3. So this is the interface and the IP address is this 192.168.43.22. Okay, so this IP address I need to use. Now from my server machine, what I am going to do is SSH. Then you need to give user at the rate IP. This is the general form. So user is the username. And then IP is the IP address. So with whichever user you want to connect. So let's suppose I want to connect with the root user at the rate the IP address. So the IP address is 
dot 22 so it will ask you for authentication so write here yes right and now enter the password for the root user okay so now we are connected you can see now the machine name has also changed to root underscore Baljeet because I am going to, I am connected now with the root user on the machine Baljeet if I now use ls so now you are able to see the contents of the root underscore Baljeet machine which I showed you earlier now if I create something here let's suppose touch SSH so this is the file that I'm going to create and now if I go to the root Baljeet machine and if I do here ls so you can see here the SSH file is created so now what has happened is we are able to access our machine from a different machine altogether okay so for this you can either use two laptops or you can use you can install two virtual machines on one single laptop then from one machine you can do SSH for the other machine also so anyway you can try this out okay to exit the session use exit so now the connection is closed you can see connection to 192.168.4322 is now closed so that was all about how to connect two systems or how to access a remote system using SSH. In the next video, we are going to learn the use of SCP and SFTP commands to transfer the files from one system to another.